Welcome back guys, this is a, another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, this one is generally used, uh, well, I don't know, there are lots of times when you can use this. Basically, if you ever use layer masks to um, do something like that to your layer or do that to mask a piece of it, um, and you this this is used so that you don't end up actually deleting the layer data. It's at, it's still there um, when you disable it. But if you ever do a gradient in a layer mask, but then say you wanted another gradient to go upward along with that one to the side, as soon as you apply another one, it changes and you lose the previous one. So you can use this method to do multiple layer masks. All you do is create a folder and give that folder a layer mask and then put your layer inside of it and now they'll just regress downward recursively through the layer mask so you can do this uh, any number of times to get multiple layer masks um, generally I use it for this sort of a thing where if you want a gradient going one way and the other way you don't have to spend 10 years trying to figure out how to get the gradient the way you want it in here and how to drag it you just do multiple layer masks and then when you're ready uh, to apply it you can just merge all the visible layers into a blank one and there you go now you've got a layer that effectively had three layer masks on it um, there are probably many other uses for this uh, generally I just use it for the gradient thing but if you do want to have like a gradient going one way but then also do some painting you know to get uh, keep the gradient over here you don't want to mess with it but then you do want to mess with it over here very useful tip uh, so if you have any questions about it just shoot them to me on Twitter Facebook YouTube whatever uh, but there you go multiple layer masks super quick uh, works in any version of Photoshop that has layer masks and folders I uh, hope it was helpful hope it was helpful mush mouth